Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not work for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, you could be dealing with a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, immediate future. The same Virgo as well. It doesn't have to be any of those. Could have met this person online as well. All right, Gemini, immediate future. Coming up to the gym. The moon. Ooh, okay. So something could have ended here. Could have been with a Pisces. Could have just been hidden from you. Um, with someone, it could have had something to do with work, a work situation, or someone that you worked with. Maybe a friendship ended or something like that. Or this could be an ending that happened with your person that you're not even seeing. Gemini immediate future. Hey, there's that Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be any sign though. All right, show me the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini for the immediate future. So this is some type of commitment, connection, cash flow, something like that. Something that's stable that you see as a wish fulfillment here, right? Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Could be something committed. All right, yeah, look, it makes you very happy, right? But it's, somebody's been carrying a lot of weight with this. A lot of stress. Um, possibly this person's coming back to fight for this, or you are. Because there's just so much headspace, so much worry, so much losing sleep. Possibly the, like, the happiness will just disappear. But it is true happiness. You have a wish fulfillment card. Show me this ten of wands. So somebody could kind of go back and forth in their head between or between people, between things, or just like mentally, especially with the nine of swords here, because there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of worry. But in reality, there's also a lot of happiness, a lot of wishes fulfilled, um, a lot of commitment that is or could be. But for some reason it's heavy. Um, it's been a hard road trying to get there. Show me this Knight of Swords for Gemini, please. Maybe somebody is stressing because you feel like you're carrying all the weight in this by yourself. Show me this Knight of Swords for Gemini, please. There's still a lot of happiness here, though. Make sure the mental is not what's causing the weight, okay? All right, so there is some unexpected truths coming out here. Could be from an Aries. Just a very determined masculine energy that makes you very happy here. This could be an opportunity to build. It could be multiple things, but it is like some type of communication. I think someone can't take the stress anymore. So it's like they're rushing in to communicate. What is this opportunity? Your emotional fulfillment is within this. A lot of happiness comes for you within this. The Knight of Pentacles. So you've been waiting on this for a while. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It's the slowest moving night in the deck. But when he gets there, he offers something solid. Whatever this situation is, it could have been a legal issue. It's been a struggle and it's been like a long battle type feeling thing. Because somebody has wore the hell out. So you could be dealing with the Aries, but somebody wants to come forward and offer something committed here, um, something long-term. And it's been a long time coming, but now it's like they're just rushing in. It completely catches you off guard and, and makes your day. It's like this just pops up out of nowhere. Show me this King of Cups for the outcome for Gemini, please. Too many. Shit. Too many. Show me this King of Cups for Gemini. 
Thank you. The Four of Pentacles. I may, okay. It's more like you or this person now. It's more just focused on their work. Um, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and it could be that someone is, is just working a lot here. They do want to rush in and talk, but it's like, it's a slow moving process, okay? It could be a job offer that someone is getting. Because it's like, they're very held back with their emotions at this point for the outcome. Possibly just more focused on work. It's like it's, it's like somebody is, is turning their back at this point um, and walking away to focus on with the nine of Pentacles. You know, you could know you'd be like um, more, you know, um, career driven right now. Or you may be standing your ground, knowing your worth and turning your back towards this person because it has been a lot of struggle behind this. It's been good times, but there's also been some hard times here. So... This person it could go a couple of ways. This person could just be taking so long with the Knight of Pentacles. Like they're approaching you, but right now they're focused on their work and it seems like they're taking forever. So somebody kind of does here, whether this is you or them, have their back turned. Knowing yourself worth or just focusing on your money here on some type of business and definitely not opening up emotionally. That's why the King of Cups is here. It's more about the um, practical side of things. So somebody does have um, their back turned here. There could have been a job offer as well someone got. Or, you know, you could have just been through too much with this person right now. You're just more so focused on um, your pinnacles, your money, your 3D world. So it may seem like someone has their back turned. Could be a Virgo. Um, it may seem like someone has their back turned. But there's just, it's, it's more so like someone is focused on... Like I said, their money. Somebody is definitely not moving. The Hermit and the Four of Swords. A very inward energy. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo, like I said. But definitely wanting to be alone. Wanting to have that personal time, that alone time to do some reflection, some thinking, and to focus on yourself. Or vice versa. Alright, Gemini, I hope this helps. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.